first of all, uh, how was it uh, working with your father uh, as an actor and even uh, as a part of the f uh, film crew? Uh, as a technician, I've worked with him before. Yeah. But as an actor, this was the first time. So okay. it was quite different. Mm -hmm. um, He's your dad, and you know you're working with him. Mm -hmm. At the same time, you have this thing about him being Yish Kasmur, the director. So you have this nervousness and you know, working with him. It was a kind of a weird experience. Mm -hmm. Okay. And of course, having worked with him as a technician on a couple of films made it kind of easier. Mm -hmm. But uh, the, the role which you played in the film was rather challenging because you were playing a, a kind of dual role. You were an actor and you were a director. So how did you combine yourself uh, in, in, uh, you know, uh, to get the feel of a single person, single actor? Uh, uh, director on the one hand and actor on the other hand. See, being a director was kind of easier because that's my bread and butter. Yes. So that was, you know, playing a director was... A lot easier, mm -hmm. but the whole experience of you know being an actor who's playing a director that was kind of no mm -hmm. you know, because for me it's a very simple thing. You know, being a director, if somebody tells me this is a scene, I interpret the way I would shoot it, the way I would want my actors to act. You know, so that's what would happen. Conceived the film, you know, seeing the way I want it. So it was, it was kind of, you know, like I said, we are nice, very exciting. Okay. Lastly, I would like to know from you, what would be your reaction if if critics describe this film as uh, uh, Mr. Casavale's best known comedy, because it, it was a comedy at, at various levels. So how would you react I, to, I, to that fact? I would be very disappointed if they actually call it a comedy. Because it's not. Okay. You know? I would go... I would call because of the comical comedy. elements. Because of the comical elements of the film. I would, I would call it comedy. I would call it sad. Yes, there are a few elements in the film which, you know, instant laughter. Yes. But I guess if it's there, you know, you wouldn't go, you know, to call it a comedy or a satire or whatever. Yeah. So... So we can say that uh, comedy is a kind of subtext of the film. Satire is... Yeah. Okay, satire. Satire is a subtext. But it is not a comedy. Yeah, it's not a comedy. Yeah, it's not a comedy in that sense. Yes. yes. It's not a conventional genre comedy. It's yes. not a conventional genre comedy, yes. Okay. And yes, there are a lot more elements of... You know, there are a lot more elements that inside you after it as well, compared to other films. Mm -hmm. But it is more so because of how the film flows and not because you want to do it. So it's more of a drama comes satire. You would, you would. This is how you would describe the film. Just, I don't know. I, I, I would kind of put it in a separate, uh, you know, genre altogether. I would probably go as far as saying it's a social political satire kind of a thing. Okay. You know, yeah. I, I don't know if such a genre exists, yeah. but. True. This one, I would create a genre like that and put it there. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's call it socio-political genre with Sarai as a subtext. Thank you, Mr. Kasavali. Thank you. Thank you.